All right, folks, what y'all are about to see has been something that I've been working on for the past, almost been five years now. It's definitely been a labor of love, and it's been a seasonal uh, type project, um, all because of everything that's went into it. But I need a favor from you guys. I need y'all to like and subscribe this thing. That way I can continue to make videos, push forward. I'm going to build it regardless. I just want to show everybody, kind of get my butt up off the off the floor and try to get this thing done. No further ado, guys, check this out. I got nightmares. All right, welcome back everybody. As you can see, it's beautiful outside. First time it's actually beautiful all winter long. I know a lot of you in a lot of different areas are experienced spring. Uh, we haven't got it yet. So yeah, I figured today since the high was supposed to be around like 70s, which is ridiculous, today is a record. I figured I'd get this old thing out and work out a few little kinks if there is any which usually this thing has always been good. It fires right up. I know some of the foam has moved. It does every winter, but after it does once, it never moves again, which I mean, I can, I can almost pick this thing up off of this foam, the inside right here where the headlights are. I mean, that's how strong it is, which there is metal on the inside, which if you have followed along, there's, it's uh, barbecue grill halves that I've cut in the back fenders. All this is steel underneath, every single bit of it. I mean, this foam, yeah, I can shake this so hard in the front. I mean, I can move it just by pushing it right here. I mean, this, that's strong. I mean, you can put fingerprints in it and stuff. Once you put a layer of resin on it and then start laying fiberglass on top of it, that ain't gonna matter. So, I haven't really walked around this thing at all. All y'all seen is really shorts of this truck. So I figured I'd do a, like a full video. To start off with, the hood will open, but temporarily I got it closed. I do spray like a little bit of foam where it opens. That way when I ride or something, it doesn't flip up. Or if I take it somewhere, which the last time that this went out, it went to the local pond and rock shop, which if you guys have been following me on that too, I have a massive pond. I'm embarrassed to show it right now, but the backyard's a mess, which we just got done with winter. But you can see some of the fish back there, sunbathing. Uh, that tank is coming out. Uh, even though I covered it solid, um, it coated it with aquarium paint, and it was very expensive to do that on the inside and outside. It's still coming off. I noticed it was bubbling up around the edges. That's coming out of here. I'd like to find a plastic one, but the ones that I've seen, they aren't that big. I'll end up turning that into probably a sandbox for the kids. I'll take the bottom out and it'll just be a boundary for kids. And I'll put like a little gate and cut a door in it. But other than that, I mean, the backyard's a mess. All right, back to this. All right, so I fixed the seat. I did weld that on. You seen that in the short. This isn't quite fastened down, but it's there. I added this dash. This dash actually come out of a power wheel, like a razor, I wanna say. It's got the handle right there and stuff. I did find a gauge that um, you, can, it'll, you can change the display like old timey gauge and stuff like that but it's a uh, uh, satellite driven so it will give you a somewhat accurate reading of your mile per hour i'm going to end up getting one of those i bought a cheap vent from like uh home depot uh lowe's or um was it bernard's where wherever um i think it's out west i bought one of those it's just a vent but air comes through the front of the truck and that does blow on my face and it and last year it was really nice having that during the summer because i did put the windshield in uh, a lot of that's going to be changed a little bit too 
but I, I put a temporary windshield in just to test it and the wind did blow in my face. I want to fix that to where um, I can close that off too, that way if I want to ride it in the winter. But uh, this does have a Predator 212. Um, it's an older Predator. I do have a Makuni car, but I do not leave the Makuni car on uh, anything here upstate New York. Um, it will gum up. Uh, you have to put a uh, winter stabilizer if it doesn't run at all, and it just ruins everything. So I usually take my Makuni carb off and and uh, put it up. But the tail lights are wired up. The headlights are wired up. I just haven't ran switches and all that stuff. Like since the phone moved, this light right here moves a little bit. It won't fall out, but I got a little piece of tape right here for when I I did ride it last year. Hopefully that'll hold up this time. These lights are pretty solid. Um, I may have to change it a little, but they will come out if I want them to. Uh, the brackets that's on this, believe it or not, are uh, training wheels for a bicycle. That's what's holding these on. They're welded. I wish I could open up the hood and show you, but they're welded to the frame and they actually hold the side of the light on right there i mean this is the whole point of my channel i mean i use random stuff this right here was just a piece of metal that actually come out of uh, a file cabinet over there this whole hood has got to come up by the way this has got to come up probably right here so it's got a good three inches four inches to come up and I got to cut a little bit more right here like even on both sides this this is gonna be a little smaller right here I don't know yet I don't know but the whole grill thing this is just temporary just to hold everything together once I fiberglass everything on this truck I'm cutting this out and I'm shaving a lot of this out so it'll be all open in the front to where I can make my own grill I'm gonna teach myself how to kind of fabricate i can fold metal and stuff i've done the aluminum sheeting having to bend it and stuff having to measure it. it's been so long since i've done it but i've done it in like my early 20s and i'm 40 now I've done a lot of different things since then oh yeah the stereo system this was donated by a buddy of mine he gave me two towers for outside but we didn't we really didn't use it a whole lot so I ended up tearing, well, both of them apart. And what I done is I took the tweeters, which actually has like a whole system on it right here. Like the power, um, your auxiliaries and stuff like that, all right here. It connects to my phone. It just has to run off of a battery that I have an inverter under there, which I have the wires just hooked right there. The, I took the battery. I don't like leaving batteries during the winter when they're... I was sitting alone. The inverter's mounted underneath the dash. All that's wired up. And where you hook up like your surrounding stuff is just right here. It's like a center console. Hey, I improvise. But, and the sub is actually right there. We have the subwoofer right here and it bumps. It's pretty loud. And it doesn't cut out because I have a car battery that I use. I mean, it will after I run it for about 15 minutes full blast but if i just just chill a little just cruise and listen to the music just loud enough to where i can hear it over everything else it's perfect that's enough of me talking how about we pull this thing outside what do you say No way. I mean, it's not too heavy, but it's going to get heavy.
probably noticed something right here. It's like it's a little split right here, which that could have been when my daughter ran into the bushes, which I'll show you a little video of that. Turn it! But that could be the reason why this light's very loose too. Right now I'm charging the battery. It's a good old battery. I've had it for a long time. It's been through a couple of vehicles. Alright, let's say we start this thing up. This will be the first time it started. I gotta fix that too. Oh wow. Put it on about half choke. Let it idle for a minute. It doesn't really vibrate much. This is vibrating just a little. Not a whole lot. The bumper is, which it's not welded up underneath. As you can see, I can turn it. It was just temporary. Put that on there after my daughter hit the bushes. But that's the second time she hit the bushes. She hit these bushes and it had like an imprint of the front of the truck for the longest time. And then we went to a field nearby that's quite a ways over there. Out of everything, she ended up hitting bushes again. So. Yeah, I'd like to get a clutch for it later. Belt driven clutch, centrifugal clutch. I have a trailer for it too, which I'll seen that in a short. I gotta bring that out. Get it all cleaned up. There's just a bunch of stuff on it with a tarp over it, but yeah, let's take this thing for a rip. Alright, just with that reason alone is the reason why, one, I've been looking for a small kid's four-wheeler with a reverse. And two, y'all may hate me for saying this, but I actually thought about hopping up a lawnmower transmission and doing a whole uh, riding mower swap. So, like riding mower, belt, you know what I mean? That way I have reverse and stuff like that, and I'll still get some speed. 25, which I mean, really don't need to go any faster than that. Just putting around, pulling a trailer, stuff like that, going to events. I mean, what do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments.
turn the island up a little. Which it hasn't ran in a while. A very long while. I'd say like seven months. I'll open it up. Oh yeah, it cleaned it out a little bit. Oh yeah. does not like bumpy roads. Now to show y'all how I get out of this thing. 40 years old, popping and cracking. Ugh. Oh, nothing happened. All right, that's good. Things are looking up. All right. Huh? Well, smells a little bit, but as you can see, after I opened it up, I want to say I probably went 35, 40, a big 40 maybe, but. Yeah, it struggles trying to go up the hill. That clutch trying to catch up. It's not too new, but I would say it's about three years old, the clutch. But that can all change later. Tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.